Hello, beautiful internet family. Dan here from danstube.tv, and you can expect brutally honest tech reviews on the channel. I'm sorry that you can't actually see a video feed of me now. I really tried to make it work, but for some reason I had some issues with it again. Anyway, this video is all about the Mavic Air 2, and I will be using references from Drone DJ and dronereviewsandnews.com. So, these are all the leaks that we have seen so far. This is what we know so far. A lot of this is still speculation and rumor. And remember that nothing is set in stone right now, although the FCC filings have gone through and it looks like a lot of the specs are actually confirmed. A lot of the details are confirmed. Even the design has basically been confirmed now. So if we look at this photo here, we can see the Mavic Air 2 box is ready to go. So this was leaked obviously by some form of an employee. It was boxed, boxed up in shrink wrap and they've obviously taken this photo and the internet has gone a little crazy with it. So the thing that I found really interesting is that another thing that was confirmed is that the sensor being used is a Sony IMX586. And this sensor is capable of 4K at 90 frames per second. So that's insane. Imagine if we saw even just 4K60 from the Mavic Air 2. That would be amazing. But as I'm sure you guys know, the Mavic 2 Pro and Mavic 2 Zoom can only do 4K30. So if they're going to release a drone that's cheaper and can shoot 4K60, that's going to eat into a lot of their sales. So I wonder whether they're just going to make it 4K30 or whether they actually will make it 4K60 and then release an update for the Mavic 2 Pro and maybe even the Mavic 2 Zoom. You can also see that this sensor is capable of 1080p at 100, uh, 240 frames per second and 720p at 480. So even if we saw 1080p at 120 and then 4K at 60, we would be very, very happy with that. We do know that it's capable of 48 megapixel stills and it is a half inch CMOS sensor. So all of these things seem to be confirmed right now. We don't actually know what it shoots in, whether it is 4K60, whether it's 4K30, whether it's nothing at all, whether it's just not, it doesn't even offer 4K, but it, it will offer 4K for sure. But if we actually did see 4K60, it would be interesting to see what they did from there if they actually did release an update to the Mavic 2 range. Now, another thing that we know is this new controller design. Now, it's significantly different, it's drastically different to the previous controller. Now you can see there's a bit more of a groove in the center here, so it means it might sit a little tighter, a bit more snug, it might be a bit more comfortable, but then you see the actual uh, contraption, bracket, whatever you'd call it, that holds your phone is actually on top now and it's not underneath, and it does look quite cheap. I've tested lots of drones in my time, and this just reminds me of a cheap controller design. It doesn't look ridiculously sturdy or, or even feel like a DJI product, but this is only a photo, so we, we can't really, you know, crush them too much right now. But in terms of the, the controller, it's different. It's very different to the previous controllers. Now, it does look like we will be seeing 1080p um, streaming to your phone. So previously it was 720p, the Mavic 2 range offered 1080p streaming to your phone, so you get that live video feed at 1080p. Just makes it a bit crispier, a bit easier to get the image right. So 1080p by the sounds of things. Um, the other thing is OcuSync 2.0. So now let's go to Drone DJ here. Um, I'll get to that stuff in a second. But it's this here. So the previous Mavic Air, one of the biggest criticisms was its Wi-Fi. Now, the Wi-Fi was fine, and I never really had any major issues. I got used to navigating the Wi-Fi settings and choosing a channel that wasn't as heavily populated and seemed to have uh, a smoother kind of uh, frequency. But a lot of people had issues with it. A lot of people just used auto, and it seemed to have some issues for them. They didn't get great range out of it. So to have OcuSync 2 on the Mavic Air is what everyone wanted. That's probably the most important thing. Um, it does say here in the Drone DJ article, there are no upward or side-facing sensors based on what we can see in this design here. 
Another thing to mention that kind of trips me out a little bit is that they're really streamlining their range now. So the Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom, and the Mavic Mini all look very similar. They've all got that similar design, and now the Mavic Air 2 looks pretty much the same. They've tried to keep it that same core design as the, as the Mavic range, but I really loved the, the original Mavic Air. I absolutely loved that design, and I feel like this is just, I don't know, maybe lazy almost, like they're using the same body, the same materials, and they're just trying to make it streamlined and feel like it's all within that Mavic range. But I actually loved the unique design of the Mavic Air, and that's something I'm definitely going to miss in this new design here. You can see the camera, the half inch sensor on the front here. You can see everything looks very similar to the Mavic Pro and even the Mavic Mini range. So that's interesting. Here's the Mavic Mini here. You can see that same kind of design. You know, it's nothing drastic. They haven't changed it. They haven't even kept with the original Mavic Air design. They've just kind of gone, all right, well, we'll just keep it all looking like the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Mini. So I don't know how I feel about that, but it is just looks. So you can see here it is the half inch sensor, 48 megapixels, and it is a fixed aperture of 2.8. Uh, another thing to be mindful of is the battery life. So they're actually saying here, based on the FCC database, that it's got 34 minutes. So that's more than the Mavic 2 range. Uh, you'll probably only still get about 29 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, but that's still very impressive. 34 minutes is quite a big quote. Um, and then the price is apparently going to be $7.99. The other thing that's really confusing at the moment is that the FCC filing has actually shown that there will be two versions of the Mavic Air. So $7.99 could be the stock standard one or it could be the one above that. We don't know just yet, but it looks like there will be two versions, however that's going to look. Um, and it will be announced in 16 hours. So we will know a little more in 16 hours. Uh, this is the little photo here. You can see the props off to the side. You can see a bit of the body here and a bit of the, the lights here for the maybe the battery, I'm guessing. So that's kind of what we know so far. Here's the controller again. Still don't know how I feel about that controller. It still doesn't tickle the like button like you guys should definitely do right now. Definitely tickle that like button. Uh, then we've got this other promo design here, which is very low quality for some reason, but... This is just one of the promo designs that will probably be on the website or in one of the ads or something. Uh, but it just has Mavic Air 2 on the arm there. Again, looks just like the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Mini. It does not look any different. So in terms of aesthetics, it's not anything exciting, but it's the internals we want to know. We want to know whether this thing has 4K 60. Is it going to have 1080p 240 frames or 120 frames? Is it going to have ridiculous frame rates for 720? We have no idea right now, but it's exciting. Uh, as we scroll through here a little more, uh, we can see it will be just as fast at 68.4 kilometers per hour, so 42.5 miles per hour, quite fast. We've um, definitely got used to the speed of a lot of the other DJI drones that have come out. Uh, and then this is a bit of a breakdown on the actual sensor. So it's a half inch CMOS sensor, like I mentioned, 48 megapixel for stills. Um, but they do believe that they might be 12 megapixel images stitched together to achieve 48 megapixels. Um, it's got the three axis image stabilization, which we've come, come to kind of get used to right now in the drone space. Uh, Active Track 3.0, which is an upgraded version again. So that's gonna be fascinating to see how that operates, whether that's gonna have some more features. We don't know if they're gonna have some new intelligent flight modes, uh, whether there'll be some new features that are a standalone, a staple of the Mavic Air. Again, these are all speculations right now. And then besides that, it's uh, basically what you see here. This is the drone. It looks like pretty much everything's leaked. We just don't know 100% all the details, all the smart modes, what actually is going to happen. But the fact that it's using this Sony sensor and it's capable of 4K90, uh, that just makes me think I wonder whether they will go 4K60. And that would make a lot of people happy, but it would also make a lot of the Mavic 2 customers very upset. And I would be one of them if they did not upgrade that. So we'll see what happens. It'll all be announced very soon. Thank you, Drone Reviews and News, and also Drone DJ, for all of your rumors and speculation articles that you post. 
you're very consistent with all of this stuff and we appreciate it. Again, this is just speculation. No one knows right now. Well, a few people think they know. Uh, and a lot of these look very legit. So we can safely assume that a lot of this is legit, seeing as most of it has been filed through the FCC now. And a lot of the leaked photos are actually coming from retail stores that have the Mavic Air 2 right now. So that's kind of it, guys. Let me know what you think. What would you like to see from the Mavic Air 2? What do you think it's lacking? Are you liking the fact that they've kind of streamlined the design and made the whole range look the exact same? How do you feel about the new controller? What else would you like to see in future drones? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a splendid day. And peace out. Do 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 peace out.